Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how to make your own hydraulic hose using reusable fittings and bulk hose. So this will be the bulk hose I'm using. You can see the brand there. Now this is 3.8 hose. It was once a 320 foot roll. Very small now. Now go ahead and measure out the hose length you need. Right now I got it mounted in the vise. Now if you're in the field you won't be able to do this, but if you're in the shop this makes it a lot easier. Get it mounted in the vise, mark where you're going to cut it. I'm going to cut this right here. Generally I like to use a hacksaw to cut this because it makes a nice clean cut. But since I have misplaced my hacksaw, I'll be using an angle grinder. So I'll show you why I prefer not to use an angle grinder here in just a minute. Now, since I used the angle grinder, you can see there is some debris in the hose. Now, generally, if you use a hacksaw, you don't get much debris. If you're in the field, you can just give it a good bang to get the dust out. But since we're in the shop, we'll use compressed air to clean out the hose. Now go ahead and get your hose mounted back in the vise. You're going to have to pick you up some reusable fittings. I got these 3 8 fittings here for this demonstration. Now these are new fittings, but I have lots of used fittings that are still good, but we'll use these for the demonstration. Now when you get your fittings, they'll come like this assembled, so we'll have to take these apart to actually make the hose, so unscrew them from each other. and we'll be first installing this piece. On this fitting, now these are these go on the backwards of normal, so not righty-tighty this time, it's gonna be lefty-tighty. It'll be counterclockwise. We've got our fitting, gotta screw it on the hose. Well, it takes a bit of force to kinda get this thing started, so best to use a socket and a ratchet. Keep a little bit of pressure on it. So as you tighten this up, you want to go till it about stops. Now if you look in there, there's a lip that the the hose will eventually rest against inside there. So we just want to go until we touch that. We don't have to push it very hard. Now you can see that the hose is all the way seated against the lip on the inside of the fitting. So now we'll install the next part. Now it helps to move this part of the fitting to be held in the vise. We'll get our other piece here. It helps to lube this up before you install it. So I'm going to be using grease, but uh, if you're pressed, you can use about anything. So just a little bit. Now this is to help lube it up as it goes into the hose and also to hopefully keep the fitting from seizing in the future. All right. So this part of the fitting screws in normal, so righty tighty. And we'll go until it just about bottoms out. So we're tightening this fitting right here until it just bottoms out on this other fitting. Now once it bottoms out, you don't want to want to put any extra pressure really because it tends to snap the fitting off if it uh, has very much pressure so we don't want that. And there you have it one hydraulic hose fitting installed. I'm going to install the other one real quick. We have our hose. Now, these fittings cost between ten and twenty dollars a piece. Have two fittings, and the hose bought in bulk cost about a dollar a foot. So this 
hose cost me $32 to make. Now that is almost twice what it would cost to buy a pre-made two foot hose from a local tractor store. So why even do this method? The good thing about these fittings is they last years and years. This hose will be long rotted off and I can just reuse these fittings and use more bulk hose there's that cost aspect. You're going to be saving money over the long run if it's a piece of equipment you're going to be keeping. Some other factors are if you don't know what length of hose you need to buy at the store, if you're doing a big job, like I have a bucket truck that has hundreds of feet of hose and it can be hard to gauge what size I need unless I actually pull the hose out. Another aspect is if you have a piece of equipment you're really counting on to get the job done and you blow a hose, well that's a trip to town and several hours lost. But if you just keep some bulk hose on handy and you have your reusable fittings, hopefully already installed or you just have some fittings ready to go, you can get back to work pretty quickly. You know, there's nothing more frustrating than the tractor catching a piece of brush and ripping a hose out. And you're stuck wasting a bunch of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you learned something. You guys have a good day.